Welcome, dear friends and dearest believers in our Lord and Savior, the Messiah, Yahushua, Jesus Christ the Nazarene. Be saved, be washed in his blood, white as snow, cleansed, and forever healed by his sacred name and sacrifice. Amen. This is Senior Pastor Michael Whitlock with Nazarene Ministry coming to you live from Las Vegas, Nevada. If you need to call us for prayer, call 702-588-9237. The Holy Spirit, I did one broadcast on memory, and the Holy Spirit, almost immediately after it, asked me to do a second broadcast on memory because there are people who are in a depth of Alzheimer or dementia and they can't agree with the prayer themselves to be healed. Yet, from the Bible we know blood relatives, and it can be the furthest cousin or a priest, a rabbi, can pray when asked to pray for those people who cannot pray for themselves and or cannot say amen in agreement to the prayer that's made for them. How do we know that? All right, well, let's talk about very clearly the captain, or his rank might have been higher, had a thousand soldiers under him. And he comes to our Lord and Savior and he says, Speak but the word, and my servant is healed. He spoke for his servant. The servant couldn't speak for himself. And the servant was in another location because that very officer, whatever his rank was, and I'll have to look that up and research it, he says to our Lord and Savior, I am an officer. When I tell a soldier, go, he goes. When I tell him, come, he comes. He knew that our Savior had the authority. So when we pray, we have been given that authority by our sacred Savior. Blessed be his holy name. We have been given that authority in Matthew 10, verses 1 through 8. Read it and know it, because then you will not die for lack of knowledge. And know this, our sacred Savior is the way, the truth, and the life. He tells this to Thomas in a very important chapter, which is so important. I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Now, going through the Savior, who's consistently and forever making intercession for us in the heavenly kingdom, to the Father Holy Spirit, is incredible it's miraculous now memory all right uh, you may want to know some verses that talk about memory from Proverbs 10 verse 7 the memory of the righteous is a blessing but the name of the wicked will rot Psalm 77 11 I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your miracles of long ago. Now, you can also look at Psalms 143, verse 5, Deuteronomy 32, verse 7, Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 11, Job 14, 13, Psalms 25, 7, Psalms 119, verse 52. Now, let's get to this. I said in the first broadcast, exercising your memory is just like exercising your muscle. You do the exercise, you get stronger. You want flexibility, you must stretch out. You want to keep utilizing your mind and memory so that you don't develop problems with it. Now let's get back to the people, the precious the believing people who are in the depth of some type of dementia or Alzheimer's, 
some type of mental disorder that is causing them to not be able to remember. My grandmother, my dearest loving grandmother, Rosa, I get a call that she's in the hospital. I go there. I'm the firstborn grandson to her. She didn't know who I was. She had Alzheimer's. I, from my nutritional education and background, asked the doctor attending her. I was not a doctor. I was in school, but I was not a doctor. Not yet. I asked the doctor attending her, could he, through her IV, one, remove metal, metal toxicity from her body and brain? He said, yes. Then I asked him, would you please put her on a vitamin supplement? And I gave him the vitamin supplementation that would help her mind come back. Now, this was witnessed by my Aunt Gloria. It was witnessed by my mother. It was witnessed by my grandmother's husband, my grandfather. It was witnessed by my father, Robert. It was witnessed by Dana, my brother, my brother, Jeff. It was witnessed by my sister, Tammy. I come back 24 hours later to see my grandmother, and I walk in her room, and she looks right at me and says, Hi, how you doing? She knew exactly who I was, called me by name, and we had a beautiful conversation, and we prayed together. She came back. So, supplementation. There are some supplementations out there that really help your brain. So if you have a loved one who's in the depths of that, you need to call me at 702-588-9237. Now let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, as you have asked me, and in obedience to the voice of the Holy Spirit, to do this second broadcast on memory, and to... Pray for those who cannot pray for themselves and their loved ones can agree and ask for prayer for their moms, dads, grandparents, or anyone suffering from learning disorder of any kind, memory disorder of any kind, or disease disorder, dementia, and or metal toxicity in the brain of any kind, Father God Almighty, we come to you in the blood and name of El Manuel in the ancient language, Emmanuel in modern language, Yeshua Messiah, the Jesus Christ that we serve. I ask you, Father, as your representative on earth to remember the power and authority that your son gave us from Matthew 10, verses 1 through 8. Casting out all demons and devils in the blood name of Messiah. Cast them out my sacred father. Order them out back to hell permanently from these believers who are in the depths of dementia or some other kind of memory problem. Whether it's a physical cause, a mental cause, or spiritual attack cause, we cast it out in the blood and name of our sacred Messiah, Yeshua, Jesus Christ the Nazarene. Also, Father, in the blood and name of our sacred Messiah, Yeshua, Jesus Christ, we pray for healing and remembrance and total recall and the lifting of the black cloud that comes over people with different types of dementia problems and the healing of their brain and body so that their brain functions as you created it to function. You made us in your image. You are divine, supernatural memory. You are divine, supernatural intelligence. 
You are divine, supernatural creator. You are the divine person, being that created us, and we are made in your image. And as the scriptures say, we are made just a little bit, and I mean a little bit less than your sacred and holy angels that are in your presence at all times. Sacred archangels. So, Father God, I pray and intercede as you have asked me to intercede through the name and blood of our sacred Messiah, Yeshua, Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, that all healing comes upon those people and all those people who are brothers, sisters, mothers, fathers, whatever their relationship is to the person that say amen to this prayer for the person who cannot pray for themselves, Father God Almighty, I ask you now to come and cause a Holy Spirit cloud to come upon them, chasing away all mental darkness, all mental disease, all mental incapacity to function normally and restore them, renew their youth and restore them to be able to spiritually, soulfully, mentally, and physically function as you design them to function and where vitamins or nutrition is needed or a detoxing of metal poisonings within their brain, either have them call me so I can direct them from the nutritional studies I've done for years and years and years and years and years, or direct them through their physicians to get that done so their brains are restored. We pray this in the blood and name of Messiah, Yeshua, Jesus Christ, and Nazarene. Amen. Dear friends and believers, remember, if you have any questions or need prayer, call me, 702-588-9237. And you can text me at that number and I will get back to you within one to three days. Now, remember to share this video. I give you absolute permission. Download it. I give you absolute permission. I give you permission to like it, subscribe to it, follow us, and join our internet ministry. There are many of you out there that do not go to church, maybe because of transportation problems. Maybe you are a person that is bedridden. Now remember, Kenneth Hagen, who was bedridden for years through his faith and understanding of the Holy Scriptures of God Almighty, healed himself and became a walking, talking, preaching, teaching, healing minister of his time. Now, he's gone on to be with the Lord, praise God Almighty, and I know that he has. The bottom line is this. We're here for you. Like and share this broadcast so that people come into this ministry. Now, back to the subject matter. There are so many people that are in areas where the churches that are there are not Holy Spirit anointed. So there's no healing. There's no casting out of demons and devils, unclean spirits, powers, principalities, rulers of dark places. Now remember that, all right? Right now, let me pray again. Father God, by your Holy Spirit leading, I know I need to pray again. Those rulers of dark places. My grandmother told me that following day, when she was awake and she called me by name, she said it was like a dark cloud came over her that she couldn't see through. And she could not understand and could not grasp where she was and what was going on. The rulers of dark places. Holy Father, God Almighty, we come against the rulers of dark places in these people with any type of mental disease, memory disease, 
dementia or Alzheimer's or any variation of it, we come against those rulers of dark places that bring the darkness upon these people in the blood and the name and the most powerful name of Messiah Yeshua, the Mashiach, Eloheinu, Jesus Christ, the Nazarene. They are healed, 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 healed. Amen. Till we meet again, friends, this is Senior Pastor Michael Whitlock with the Nazarene Ministry, and we are seeing consistent and constant miracles all the time. Share this video. Please respond to this video. Amen.